The purpose of this module is to enable you to understand how to create a project to make the sprite dance, speak, change its color, etc. This module covers the following topics. Starting scratch, scratch window, cat dance, repeat, cat speak, change effect, press a key. Starting Scratch To start Scratch 2, click Start and then click Scratch 2. Or, double-click the Scratch icon on the desktop. The Scratch window will be displayed. The Scratch window has the following main parts. Menu Bar The menu bar contains commands related to the project file and the sprites you are using in your project. Stage The stage is the part of the scratch window where you place your sprites and where you see the results of your program when you run it. Sprites list The sprites list shows the sprites that have been added to the stage. To see and edit a sprite's scripts, costumes, or sounds, select the sprite and then the Scripts, Costumes, or Sounds tab, respectively. Scripts tab. When you click the Scripts tab, 10 color-coded block categories appear. Each block category has its own block palette containing a set of blocks, programming codes. To create a program, that is, a set of instructions for the sprite, first drag the blocks of your choice to the scripts area. Then, join them to each other in the order you want the actions to be performed by the sprite. Costume tab. The Costumes tab helps you to change the appearance of the sprite while your program is running, so that you can give it different expressions and body movements. Sounds tab. The Sounds tab is used to add sound to a sprite. To start a project, select a sprite. The default sprite is the cat sprite, and its default position is at the center of the screen. To create a script, simply click the block categories and drag a block from the block palette onto the scripts area. To try out the script, click the block and observe the changes on the screen. Move, turn, and sound blocks. To make the sprite move or turn, first select the scripts tab. Now make sure the motion block category is selected. Drag the block from the block palette onto the scripts area. You can edit the number in the text box by simply clicking it and typing another number. Drag a turn block onto the scripts area. A white highlight indicates where you can drop the block. You can create scripts, programs, by joining blocks together to form stacks. Now, to add sound, click the Sounds block category. Drag the Play Sound block to the scripts area. Edit the text boxes of the Move and Turn blocks as shown here. Run the program by clicking anywhere on the stack of blocks in the scripts area. The cat sprite moves 100 steps forward, turns 90 degrees, and makes a meow sound. Let us make the cat sprite dance by using the blocks we have learnt about so far. Select the cat sprite. Select the motion block category. Drag the Move and Turn blocks from the block palette to the scripts area. Again, drag and add the Turn and Move blocks. In the second Move block, click within the text box and type the minus sign. Select the Sound block category. Drag the Play Drum block and snap it at a proper position. Choose a different drum from the drop-down menu. The scripts area will now appear as shown here. 
click the blocks to run the programming code. The cat sprite will move forward by 10 steps and then turn right by 15 degrees. After that, you will hear the drum sound. Then the cat sprite will turn left by 15 degrees and move backward by 10 steps. After this, you will again hear the drum sound. To make the cat sprite repeat its dance moves, use the repeat block to make the cat continue to dance. Select the control block category. Drag the repeat block and drop it at the top of the programming code. It will wrap around the entire code. You can change the number that indicates how many times it repeats. Click the block to run it. Let us make the cat sprite say, I like dancing, before it dances. Select the looks block category. Drag the say block and snap it at the top. Click inside the text box and type, I like dancing. Run the block by clicking it. Another way to run a block is by using the green flag. Click the events block category. Drag the when green flag clicked block and snap it at the top. Click the green flag to run the programming code. Click the stop button to stop the execution of programming code. With the help of the change effect block, you can change the color, brightness, etc. of a sprite. Let us now change the color of the cat sprite. Select the Looks block category. Drag the Change Effect block to the Scripts area. Run the block 10 times by clicking it. You will find that the cat sprite changes its color. You can program a sprite to do something or get something done on it by using the When key pressed block. Let us change the color of the cat sprite here by pressing the spacebar key. Click the events block category. Drag the when key pressed block to the scripts area and snap it at the top. Press the spacebar to change the color of the cat sprite. You can choose another key by clicking the drop down arrow in the block and selecting the key.